this section is on using NetBeans to connect to the database using your Java code and to perform the insert statement. First thing you want to do is open up NetBeans, create a new project, and I did right click, file, and I did a new Java application, and I created my Java application. Now the second thing you want to do is you want to add your MySQL jar file to your new created project. To do that, you click on your project, you go down to properties, and you go to libraries, and you say, you go to libraries, and you say add jar file. You navigate to the jar file that you downloaded when you set up NetBeans to connect to your MySQL database. This is the same jar file that you downloaded from MySQL. You pick that one, and then you say OK. To confirm that it's still there, you can expand the library and see that MySQL, MySQL connector Java is, bin is there. The next thing you do is you open up your application, your source file, and I'm going to open this source file so it's bigger into Notepad but it's the same source file so you can just see a bigger view of it. What you're going to do, your first thing you're going to do is create a method. In this method you're going to have first name, last name, and password. That also means you have, a, you have in your database first name, last name, and password. You get a connection. You first create a connection object that's going to be used to connect to your database. You do a try and you try to load the driver. And that's handled in these first two highlighted <clears throat> statements. Next, you connect to your database. And you notice that this is the URL that was added to use to connect to your database. Root is the name of the user and blank blank means we didn't have a password. From here we have established a connection to our database. The next thing you do is construct a SQL insert statement. You do it by doing a prepare statement and as we recall it's just an insert statement and you specify the columns first name, last name, password and the value positions one, two, three. You also say that it returns the new generated person ID key. From there you do the ins you set the value of the first name, last name, and password. These come in from the method. The next thing you do you say well insert into the database. Here it shows that yes it did insert into it. The next lines are that you try to find the new ID that was created. You create a result set, you get the generated key, you go to the next generated key and you pull that first value out. Then you disconnect from the database. And in the finally block we are saying hey if the connection is still there, drop the connection. And that's the end of the assignment.